Ew, ew, ew. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow ZZZ enjoyers, welcome back! We are continuing our journey on the Berniche drip marketing coverage, which will ultimately culminate in me rolling for her. So my Caesar rolling is out at this point. So, um, you know, if you uh, are interested in that, go see that. Uh, but be forewarned, I'm going to spoil that a little bit. So after the Caesar rolling, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too good. Now, I really, really want Bernice. But just considering what's on its way and what's coming, I think Bernice is a little bit of a bait. Now, I've been furiously checking every night. Uh, excuse me, I have been checking that. Every night I've been checking at the stroke of midnight, which is what it is now. I've been checking, oh, you know, is something releasing from uh, Hoyo, right? From Genshin, from Star Rail, from Zenless. And nothing's been releasing. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Are we in a slow era? Are we in a slow period? And, you know, finally they released the Bernice thing. I don't think they're going to go too, too crazy on Bernice's thing because we're barely getting anything right now. It's like, it, it's been six whole days now. I don't know if this is the usual time frame for how long they wait, but either way, let's get into Bernice. So, um, what do I think of Bernice? Obviously, we've already used her in game, as I said in the first uh, coverage video for her. This is where things are a little weird, because what happened with Caesar was I thought Caesar was going to be I, and she actually ended up being probably one of the best supportive units in the game, at least right now, until we get probably a five-star support, whenever that's going to happen. It's probably going to be a lot like um, Star Realm, where they're going to release supports very, very sparingly, which is why we're getting three fucking anomaly agents, because supports are probably going to dictate what is the meta and what's running the game. Um, this is where I'm thinking probably the opposite thing is going to happen to Bernice from what I thought about Caesar. I thought Caesar was going to be whatever, and Caesar ended up being great. I feel like Bernice, I thought was going to be really good. And don't get me wrong, she's still going to be good, but she's not going to be necessary or core in a lot of teams like basically Caesar is. Caesar is a Swiss army knife. She shields you, she provides anti-interrupt, she stuns, and she gives damage. And she's, like, her. ideally her kit should just be shielding, but it does all this other shit too. And it's like, what the fuck? Bernice kind of just really does one thing. Unless other things work off of it, Bernice is kind of way, way more niche than Caesar is. And that's kind of hurting her here. So Bernice's whole thing, if you don't know, is she applies a mark on the enemy and she could switch off. And then that mark could still do damage while you have energy for it. And it's a special energy, not regular energy. So... This is where these things um, these things really count for Bernice, right? Bernice is a lot more niche. So basically, you should use her on Anomaly teams, which right now the premier one is Jane. If you don't have Jane, the free version is Piper, which if you rolled on the current banners, you probably have. But if you rolled on the current banners, that means you're probably poor. So the problem is Bernice is in a really tough spot in terms of timing. Because next we have Yanagi, which I believe has to be a primary DPS anomaly. There's no way she isn't. She could be more of a supportive anomaly, but I doubt it because Bernice is kind of the middle ground here. But, you know, I'm just speculating. But Bernice, for all intents and purposes, sadly, I thought was going to be the one I was going to go hard for. I think she's the one. I I'm not going to skip, right? I'm going to do a 10 shot, but I was originally going to go a little bit harder for her. Now, unless we get lucky, which I really hope... I cannot see myself in good conscience and good faith doing more than a 20 shot for her. I can't. Like, even though, and this is where we go into the criteria, right? Even though according to the criteria, number one, is she meta? Yes, but she's niche. So that's kind of what's hurting her the most here. But number two, is she hot? Absa fucking Luli. She got them buns, man. But number three, lore wise, lore wise, she's cool. She's kind of there. She's ditchy. She, you know, ditzy, not, not uh, dizzy. She's ditzy, she's, I don't want to say a little creepy, but she's a psycho, right? She's a sweetheart psycho. And I really like that shit, but man, Miyabi's on the horizon and I just can't act a fool. I really need to guarantee everything for Miyabi and probably Yanagi, because Yanagi's probably going to work with Miyabi. I'd be surprised if she doesn't, because they're all part of the same squad. But we got to see. I We really got to see more about Yanagi. I don't know when we are going to. We should see it near the end of Bernice's uh, banner. But yeah, Bernice is not doing well purely because I've meta-adjusted her in my personal mind ranking because she's so niche, man. Like, my Jane team does not really need more shit. Because at this point, I have Caesar, right? Unless I swap out Caesar for, for Bernice, 
I'm not going to swap out Seth because Seth works really well with her. So it's the real question of, aside from that, where does Bernice fit? At least with me personally, I don't know. And I think that's her main issue. I don't doubt she's going to be good, right? And obviously the free-to-play options, I don't think are too terrible for her either. And, you know, the new artifact set is basically made for her and for Caesar. But, um, yeah, man, it's going to be tough. I can't see myself doing more than 20. Obviously 10 at the least, but so far 20 at the most. Aside from that, let's actually get into the video. So I believe the character demo is the hope the animated one now obviously jane's one really got me going if what i'm remembering is correct and jane's one was fucking crazy now if this is the in-game one it's probably still going to be good but i'm more looking forward to the animated one as always let's see if we see feet let's take a look here we go okay it's the in-game model one. You got it. Oh, she's so cute look at her she's a bartender like that will make even the best nitro feel taste like regret look at that so look at what they're drink, showing we gotta take care of whatever's troubling oh she's so nice a drink burning desires oh, a little flames. what the whoa what what the fuck was that that was the russian dance what is she doing this is crazy Oh, does she like lighter? No way he goes off the cliff with that, right? What the fuck? He's trying to act cool. Nah, this is wild. Is this how she sees the world? Oh, what the fuck? There's chaos everywhere. Oh, they have chibis. What the fuck? Even the ethereals are watching. What the fuck is this shit? Wow, they're really putting it front and center. Nah. Yo, what is this? Oh my god, even the bang boos are rocking out. Oh! How is this helping the girl in the beginning? Oh, that was her dream. Uh, yeah. no, you can <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was gonna curse based on the subtitle there. On the counter again? Did she get she drunk? Chatting with her friends again. Was that Seriously? All right, let me a hand. I'm surprised oh, we didn't see any feet. <laughs> Oh my god, let me get that drool. Let me get that drool. I can't believe this. This... This was insanity. Like, I didn't expect this. That's the best thing. It's not like Hoyo's never done this before, especially with Zalona now, right now in Genshin. They did kind of a, a musical thing too. But, um, that was amazing. That was so fucking good. Like, it, it perfectly shows... So, a lot of the times, right... I look to these videos to see a couple of things. One, I mean, the main thing is, does it expand the character? Does it either show us something new or does it reinforce how they are, right? Now, showing us something new is good, but it shouldn't feel forced. And showing us how they are should really strengthen it. And I think it definitely did that. It didn't really show us anything new with Bernice because if you play the campaign, you know she's a little, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But, oh my God, this was fucking amazing. Like... I don't know if they're going to pull out a song for her. I don't think they... Well, they pulled out a song for Cisa, so chances are we're likely not going to get a song for Bernice. But, um... This was amazing. Like, the song was literally her. Like, I imagine she's just seeing the world this way. Like, oh my god. It pains me now. It pains me that I'm not going to get Bernice. Probably. Unless Lady Luck is on my side. But this was fucking amazing. Like, I, like look at this shit. This shit is crazy. Like... What, where do they think of this? And obviously we had jiggling booba and everything. Like, what the hell? Oh! It's like she's doing all these different dances, but she was doing the Russian squad. Like, what the fuck? She's so goofy. Whoa. Like, is she roofing people? I, I can't get over this. This is so cool and hot. Burnus! Look at it! Yeah, yeah! 
Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. That is fucking wild. I, I can't believe this. I, I just can't believe this. Like, I love this so much. This literally didn't do anything for the lady, though. Like, this was just nonsense, but it was amazing. Dude, Hoyo, oh my god, man. They do so good with their trailers, man. So, sometimes they really hit, and this one really hit. It just pains me even more that, sadly, as much as I want to, unless I find out she's, like, extremely meta. And even then, I'm too poor. I have to save for Miyabi. So I'm kind of hardcore deadlocked to just not rolling for her. I think, unless meta-wise, she really, like blows us out of the water which again we already have her in game technically so that part's kind of been already taken care of so sadly i maximum maximum like if she breaks the limit 30 pulls maximum 20 pulls maybe 10 pulls for sure right now i'm thinking 10 to 20 but we really gotta see because i'm probably not gonna get her with the 20 so i'll work towards pity towards yanagi or i'm probably gonna skip lighter but we'll see uh, and by skip, I mean 10 shot him. But we're really saving for Yanagi. Assuming Yanagi comes out. Or sorry, not Yanagi. Fuck, Miyabi. Assuming Miyabi comes out after Yanagi and Lighter. But either way, this trailer was absolutely amazing. I love the song. I love the dance. No feet, unfortunately. But we got some nice, uh, some nice melon action. You know, pretty good. But either way, I hope everyone enjoyed this shit. And I hope you watch me at twitch.tv slash channel.